Good afternoon, everyone. Nice to see you again. My name is Jonah, aka uh, Ronaldo Beckham, and uh, this is my Twitch channel, Lutra FM. In case anybody is new, um, I appreciate the support that I got yesterday for my um, Football Manager stream and GTA stream that I did um, last night. I do appreciate it. I hope uh, you hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy today so um where we left off yesterday with newcastle we went we got through pre-season um we 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 are undefeated in the the league at the moment we have not been defeated yet um we've done pretty well in the premiership moment with a free well free one win over fulham and a 5-2 win over manchester united and then a nil-nil draw against top of the league at the time, Arsenal. So we've done really well. We were very, in some ways, very lucky not to lose to Arsenal because they were all over us, but then unlucky in other ways because we uh, we had a penalty and Callum Wilson missed it, unfortunately. But we crack on now with September. Um, we just got to finish off the transfer window. I'll just uh, briefly mention signings that I've made. So the signings I've made since I've been here have been David De Gea on a free, um, Ryan Casti on a free for the reserves. There was a, another guy called Sean Casey who my uh, DOF signed to play for the under-18s. Um, another one for the under-18s who's got good potential is Nathan Anna, sorry, Annie, Annie Ann Wu. Uh, yeah, um, one thing you'll get used to me on this is butchering every football player's name. Um, we also signed Yas here Aspera, who unfortunately isn't related to Newcastle legend Faustino Aspera, but we're just going to pretend he is. Um, and then we signed him for eight and a half million, and he's already valued at twenty four to twenty eight million. So a very shrewd signing by us. Um, and then Andrew, sorry, Angel Correa signed on. I think. Oh, signed for 3.7. I thought we signed him on loan for some reason. And he's done really well so far with two goals and two appearances. So he's doing very well. Um, Yeah, so that's that really. That's um, Was there any major transfers out? I, don't, I think there was only a couple really. Dubravka went to Sheffield United for 3.1 million. Mark Gillespie went to Strasbourg for 1.4 million. Um, We had like um too many goalkeepers at the time because we had... We had these two, and then we had Pope, and obviously I signed De Gea, so I just didn't see the need for it. And we had Laureus Carus, who can play as emergency backup in case of an emergency. So, yeah, so um, I think the only... That's it. I don't think there was any major... Uh, we sent Lewis Miley, uh, highly rated in real life, and we saw, uh, we sent him on loan to Wolves. Uh, he's yet to play for Wolves, unfortunately, but hopefully that will change. So right, let's uh, crack on with a bit. Hope everyone's having a nice day today. It's a little bit, it's a dreary day uh, for winter, but you know, we just get on with it, don't we? So, um, if there's anybody in the chat, please feel free. Feel free to say hello if you have any questions that you want to ask me. Feel free to ask me. Um, always happy to chat to people on here while I'm playing. Any, any, if anybody's got any suggestions, let me know. Um, hopefully the mic sounds better today because I've managed to put a filter on it, so it ex, uh, expands it so people can hear me better. Hopefully, I hope the sound is still clear. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. I can't, oh, and I've got it in full screen mode as well because yesterday I forgot to put it in full screen mode. So yeah. Uh, Brentfield I'm playing Brentford next. Hopefully we can defeat them. Uh, stay undefeated. As long as we don't lose, that's a bonus. So yeah, so I'll be playing this for two hours up until four o'clock. And then I'm going to have a 10, 15 minute break at four o'clock. Um, and then crack on with some GTA roleplay content. Um, quite enjoyed doing that last night. Base the, the 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 main highlight of last night was I was a bit bored playing on one of the servers, so I started punching 
the uh the uh, other people on the that were walking around um they weren't people that real life people they were just computer the the the, the, the people that just walk in the streets um, and then the actual police arrested me and it was because it's role play it's people playing police officers so i got to have a, a nice time interacting with them and be a little bit cheeky and have a bit of banter with them but um they they seemed quite okay with that and just going along with it so um yeah so fair play to them and then i had a bit of an issue trying to find another server where there was people on um and then in the end i managed to get on to uh, this one server and there was a, a lovely woman all in pink called Gemma who was quite funny and uh, has got the, the dance moves so she was uh, she was really nice as well because it's, it's, it's part of her ser she's part of this the management team of the server by the sounds of it so she was really um, nice to me because I'm a complete newbie I don't know how to do anything on the game and she was quite um, patient with me and made me feel like a uh, you know included and that so that was nice so i've added that to my favorites i probably will go on to that at some point um tonight when i put uh, later on sorry today when i play it but yeah we'll just see how it goes we'll just see how this goes first we'll just try and get s some of the season done um I hope everyone likes my uh, avatar. I literally look like somebody out of Avatar film. Um, basically, what I tried to do was take a photo, uh, a face screen photo of my my face with the mask on, and that's what come up on the avatar. Um, that's not good, is it? Playing Manchester City in the third round of the EFL Cup. The EFL Cup is probably one of the things we can achieve and win in this season, and uh, don't know if that's going to happen now. So we've got Benfica, Napoli and Rangers in our Champions League group. Now, I do I definitely think we can beat, obviously beat Rangers, but never say never. Um, I think we could probably beat Benfica. Napoli's going to be a tough one though, but I think we can progress from that. Um, yeah. Some interesting Champions League groups. But luckily, it's the still the old format for the Champions League, which is what I prefer. I I think I might even have a file on my editor data to keep the Champions League uh, uh, format as it is because I don't like the new format uh, at all. I always, I mean, I'm old school. I always prefer the old format. Uh, obviously, they they got to do what they got to do, but I just don't think it's any better at all, really, to be honest. Anybody worth looking at? If I had the money, I'd go for Jota. Jota, sorry. Um, the rumour to be after this guy. Aiden Sancho. No, yes. No. Yeah. That was pointless wasn't it um have i got any money to spend no i haven't maxed out so there'll only be outgoings in the uh transfer window by the looks of it no oh, we're after this guy no i'm not I'm not going for him he's not worth it it's just wasting time being I uh, hope everyone can hear me okay. Like I said, I put a filter on my mic, so hopefully it will make it better when it comes to playing this and also GTA, because obviously there was a few issues with GTA last night where people couldn't really hear me properly because of the 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 sound from the game. That's a decent uh, free transfer, one one for the future by the looks of it. 
Oh, I'm going manager of the month. That's good. Rightly so as well. <laughs> Only joking. 13 hours to go in the transfer window. Oh. Jacob Ramsey. Oh, my God. Overall fee, 80. Are they having a laugh? Con contract offer? I don't know. I Have a look at this. This do not seem right to me. Then our future fee upon winning the Premiership. Not you're having a bubble, aren't you? Let's change that. Like that. Okay, that's fine. No, we can't afford that. Actually, just oh well. Would have been a decent signing, but we just don't have the money at the moment. I'm not paying 90. That was ridiculous. Lucky I flipping paid attention to that because if I wasn't streaming, I probably wouldn't. I'd probably just get I'd probably just ignore it. Oh, yeah, we can't sign up. Sorry. But yeah, I probably wouldn't have paid attention to that. And then if I'd have won the Premiership, I'd have bloody had to give Villa a 96 million. That seems like a book that does. There's no way that that would happen in real life, would it? Then again, Newcastle, they probably would, wouldn't they? Are you confident that you have the squad finalised considering the Premier League right, the registration deadline also falls on today's... Yeah, it's fine. Um, you should improve your youth. Yep, so that's good. That helped the future of the club. No, he's rubbish. I'm not good for him. Physio increase. That's good. Newcastle in real life. I've had a few injuries recently, so that's good. And youth improvement. Let's have a look at the. So we've got adequate quote. Code, the adequate. I can't talk today. I do apologize. Adequate academy coaching and an excellent youth recruitment now. We've got great training facilities, good youth facilities, and a youth level's one. But considering Newcastle up until like a couple of years ago didn't weren't very known for producing youngsters, they have got decent um abilities to do so. Um so hopefully we can build on that and create some more Geordie superstars for the fans, because if it's one thing the Geordies love, he is a hometown hero. Ah, oh, Brahim. Well, that's more fair. Overall, 9.25. I don't mind that. He's world class anyway. What I remember from previous seconds. Yeah, I think they're pretty good wage demands, to be honest. A pretty busy transfer window. How does your business affect the club's short and long terms? I think it's getting stronger and stronger. The squad looks ready to compete now and well positioned to be a real force in the future. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll stick with that. Okay, so we brought in one more sign in, Brahim Diaz, which I'm surprised about. I didn't think we'd be able to get anybody in. So I'm quite sure for that. Loan with a fee of 9.25 million at the end of the season, which we can afford, I think, by the time we, uh, hopefully. Um, yeah, and he slots in nicely here. And let's just have a look on here. So I normally just click this and I just let the assistant manager pick the best team. So, um, yeah, so Brahim now is here. Um, who's he? I think he's replaced. Can't really place now. Who's he replaced in that position? In that position, but probably Angel Angel Korea. Um, sorry. Um, yeah. So that's good. Always want to improve the first team as best as we can. We're not going. To. I think that'll probably be it when it comes to uh, our chances now. I can't imagine that. You know, our wage budget's tight as it is. Uh, 
Yeah, so look, the wage budget is £2,680,000 and we're, we're about 120000 a week over it, so we definitely need to get rid of somebody quickly. Matt Ritchie, let's see if Matt Ritchie's been dead one day. That would be pretty good, wouldn't it? Uh, no. Neither is. Uh, maybe I'll have to offer ways to get rid of it. Oh. Uh, let's see if we can get done it. We'll leave a short defensively, but we'll just get on with it. Again, let's offer some of these wage out. That will encourage people. Um, That's it, really. I don't think we can get rid of it without, us, without it leaving us quite short. There's nobody. There's nobody in the reserves that's worth selling. We don't. Want to, there's no money to, not on any high wages. Let's have a look at. Go across the wage. So, this is annoying because. Um. I know he'll be back soon, that's good. And he doesn't look suspended, so at least that's good. Yeah, so if you look on these now, this is all our first team. Can't get rid of anybody really from here. So yeah, so that's it. That's it. I think that's our transfer uh, window concluded, really. Just try and get this through without any two major surprises. So, again, another risk player. Dan, Dan Ashworth, you need to uh, stop going after absolute oh have we signed it oh we bloody can't cancel it because it's already gone through oh well just hopefully that means he'll stop signing rubbish now because he's managed to get what he wants no oh, i should be i know i shouldn't have the dof in charge of transfers and then moan about it but it's usually because they'll go for players i wouldn't even think of so that's why i usually leave it No, it doesn't look like Richie or Dummett's going then. We'll just keep him here for now. Seven from the wage expenditure, so that's not too bad. Sorry about that. All right. Okay. So let's go. Squad re there. Yeah, squad registration. All right. So we've got Brentford now. Uh, all up to Paraguay. I think um, Elliot Anderson was the was in this position where Brahim's in. Okay, so at least we've got another option there. So yeah, so this is our uh, lineup for Brentford. We've got Pope in goal, Trippier, Shah, Botman, Target, Bruno Gomez, Joe Linton, Carrier, Brahim Diaz, Almiron on the left instead of on the right this time. Callum Wilson up front now. Last time I played Isaac from the start, he didn't perform very well. And then put Wilson on and he he, he he didn't score the penalty. So I'm hoping these two can redeem themselves because if they don't, they're both out in January and I'm looking for strikers. So I'm hoping one of them, you know, Isaac scores a few when he comes on from the bench, but he doesn't seem to like 
first he doesn't seem to like to start maybe he hasn't got the legs for it i suppose target going down on the left wing now is he going to loop it in oh no sharp he blasts it over he uh he likes to have a long shot then he shall i think he scored a, uh, a cracking goal a, a while ago from a long a long shot Gamar Bruno. Oh. Bruno nearly blasting it in. Right save by their goalkeeper. Target with the corner. Who's pr he's pretty good at corners, actually, to be honest. We've scored a few goals from his uh, corners. Trip here now. Let's see what he can do. Another great set piece expert. Uh, come to nothing in the end. Good start, though. Three shots. On target, out of six, it's not too bad. XG could be a bit better, though. Right, let's try and encourage. Well, that's the end of the first half. A bit, bit, bit of a boring one so far. Let's try and demand more. Korea and Wilson got booked so far. That's not good. Target with the cross. Korea. Korea. Probably pronounce his wrong. Shoots over. These lot need to stop blasting the ball over. Right, so I'm going to... Uh... Yeah, we'll do that. We'll, we'll say mix cross here. On Mark it with the throw in, passes it to oh, yes, Joe Linton. Get in, worked in our favor. Little tactical change work for us. Um, Almeron's not playing very well, probably because he's probably not playing in his in the ideal position for him. S swap them. Oh, oh no, that's offside. I was going to say that's offside. Surely, come on, ref. Yes, well done, referee. Let's take Joe Linton off. Earns a bit of a rest. Put the wrong stuff on. Let's... Angel Korea is coming off. And we're putting Gordon on. Uh, target needs to come. And burn it. Not making all sorts right, okay. Throw in by Burn. Gordon to Burn. Back to Brahim. Brahim with the shot hits the post. Back to Gordon. Gordon loops it in. Almeron now. Oh, that was a terrible pass, Almeron. You were lucky that Trippier saved you. We got enough to keep this one nil. Yes, we are. Well done, lads. Nice little victory. What I tend to do is when there's a two week period, I tend to go on holiday. So I'm just going to do that. Just going to dump that. And we'll just go to the next step. Nice.
uh, replying to a few comments on the Cy Games forum post that I put on there. I um, do appreciate people's feedback and help on there. Mm, week left. Thank you to the uh, the one person that's in the stream watching at the moment. I do appreciate you uh, checking this stream out. I know at times it's going to be a bit quiet while I'm doing stuff, but yeah, I appreciate you having patience with me. Realise that you can't see half of my face. There you go. Sorry about that. Place to go, so we're we'll back in a second. Hopefully, uh, no massive surprises. Oh, we've got another person. In the chat, hello, nice to meet you, wherever you are. Thank you for joining the stream. Hello to uh, the people on there, thank you very much. Feel free to say hello in the chat if you want. Right, let's get back on it. Okay, so... De Gea's back, that's good. Elliot Anderson's back. Okay. Um, I won't expect them to agree to build a new stadium anyway. Just short. Yep, do that. Spirit, probably better off in the under 21s now, actually. Right, Champions League's odds Man City, the favourites, which is expected, followed by Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, Barcelona, PSG, and Arsenal. Um, we're 18 to 1, so we're definitely a long shot, but yeah, never know. So that reminded me, Matty Monster bringing back to Newcastle. Now he's hopefully recovered. Even though he's only a two star, good to have that for homegrown rules more than anything else. Sonali's back as well, that's good. Ben Botman, congratulations, you've got your first, uh, first appearance for your country, well done. Champions League's top goal scorer odds, none of our players, that's annoying. Um, still can't believe Villa tried to sneak that 96 million in. Oh God, Isaac injured. Three to four weeks. That's great. So I'm just relying on injury prone Callum Wilson. Miley played, came off the bench to show some brief glimpse of quality before getting injured. Oh, so he's injured. That's good. Not. Um, injured. He 
injuries. Six days, that's not too bad. What injury is it? Oh yeah, twisted ankle. Okay, it's not too bad. Could have been worse. We've got Harvey Barnes back in 12 days to 5 weeks. Joe Wilcock back in 3 to 6 weeks. Emil Kraft coming back in 3 to 6 weeks. He's not coming back in 12 days to 3 weeks as well. Right then, see under 21s. Oh, for God's sake, it gets worse. And Angel Korea gets injured. He's out for three to four weeks. Bloody internationals. I hate them anyway. I hate watching internationals. So boring. England playing teams like Malta and bloody hell. So boring. What is the point? Um, Sean Casey. God knows what we'll do if, if um, Alan Wilson gets injured. Do I have Do I have any other strikers? Let's have a look. So we've got we've got a few in the under twenty ones and stuff like that, I suppose. But basically, we have got Ryan Cassidy, um, and and that's it really. I mean, I know Gordon can play there, but again, a striker, a Spirit can play there. He's not a striker; he's more of a winger. Probably best off calling the Nathan. I went up to the full squad for now, just just for cover more than anything else. And Sheffield United way against. We're currently first in the league. Let's have a quick look at the table, actually. Yeah, ten points, no losses so far, only one draw, three wins. That's pretty good. One point ahead of Chelsea. Right. So we've got Pope in goal, Trippier on the right, Charlotte on the uh, in the centre defence, centre of defence with Botman, Matthew Target on the left. It's basically an unchanged team again. Almiron's playing in his more familiar role on the right, Gordon on the left instead. Brahim now as the uh, shadow striker and Wilson up front. So let's see how it goes. De Gea still not hundred percent. Hope carries on in goal for now. I think I might play De Gea in the next game though. Squad number needs to be given to one player. Okay, that's fine. So we've got the uh, youngster, Awanu, on the bench. I might put him on if I've got a chance for the last 10 minutes. Just give him some game time, give him some confidence. Right, let's try encouraging. There's nothing happening so far. Like a very boring game for the fans. Okay, encouraging slightly helped. Oh, here we go. First highlight of the game. Botman to target. Target with a lovely pass. Gordon absolutely bottles it, but target gets it back. Brahim to Wilson. Wilson loses it. They're now on the attack. This could not this might not go our way. Oh, that's terrible, that is. Wilson, I'm going to I can't do it. Demand more. Free kick to Sheffield United. This might not go our way as well. Is this where we uh is this the curse of the the manager of the month curse, is it? Oh there we go. Wilson intercepts it, he runs on. He just blasts it in. Okay, fair enough. Well done, Callum Wilson. You uh, made up for that cock up that led to Sheffield United goal then. Right, add the ball, add the thing, work the, add the instruction, work the ball into the box. I'm sorry about this. Yes. Can you tell I'm nervous? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sheffield United highlight probably coming up now. Will they uh, take the lead again or will we? Oh, we've got the ball back. Hopefully this will lead to us now attacking and hopefully scoring. Right, 
Ibrahim to target. Target runs on. What's he going to do? Is he going to cross it? Oh, no. Passes it to Gordon. Gordon. Oh, look at that. Joe Linton again. Come on. Ah, saying that, though, if I really get an injury curse going on, I can just stick Joe Linton up front because he used to play up front. So uh, I think he'd do the job there if I needed him to. Hopefully Wilson will be all right there. Oh. Cotton with the ball to target. Target passes it to... And then we've got Joe Linton with the ball. Oh, that was a terrible pass, Joe Linton. You can do better than that. Oh, no. Oh, thank God for that. Well done, Pope. Overall, we're doing well. 12 shots, 6 on target, 1.4 XG. Could do with another goal just to uh, settle things. Vincent looks a bit knackered at all. Ten minutes to go, as I said. I'll stick the new boy on. There he is. Put him on for Wilson. Give Wilson a rest. Trippy with the corner. Will he hopefully set up the new boy for a goal? No, he's over here, so I don't think it. Oh, nope, comes to nothing anyway. Good little result. Nice little win for us again. I don't think... Uh... I think we'll go undefeated all season. I think we'll come stuck eventually. We've yet to play. Um, we haven't played Man City yet, and they'll probably destroy us. But and Haaland is just unreal on FM. Don Longstaff has been hinting at wanting an improved contract. Okay. Don't think that it is. No, I'm ignoring that one. Very clear benefactory agenda. Okay, that's fine. Um, very excited by the progress of by launch long staff under the individual training room team. It's working exactly as we hope. Well, that's good to hear. Disappointed to report that. Okay, it's probably injury. Okay, I won't say anything to him then. Um, Brahim Diaz has emerged as an influential player, so he's already had an instant impact and getting on well with the squad. That's good to hear. Uh, okay, that's fine. I'm happy with that. Increasing opinion that Anthony Munda has the potential quality player at the, t at the club, perhaps reaching the ability of our fourth best central midfielder, Joe Wilcock. Well, no offence to Joe Wilcock, but I think I'd be wanting to be a little bit better than him. Um, really well, it looks like he'll end up being as good as Joe Linton. Well, that's good. Uh, he's only 14 years old. <laughs> So I've got all sorts of these Wonder Kid files, so it's probably come up as that. That's probably why he's on there at 14 years old. So we won't we won't worry about him for a few years yet. But uh let's have a quick look at Munda. Decent first touch and pass in. Um about it really. Hopefully he'll progress a bit more. Let's put him in let's see if we can get him alone. I think we'll be able to now because the window's shut, but we'll see. We should praise, okay. Schedule these afterwards. Praise Trippier and Joe Linton and also Anthony Gordon as well, which will give them a little boost. Let's offer Sean Longstaff a new contract. Praise you, well done. Praise you, well done. Praise you, well done. Oh, God. Convince you. I'm going to convince you that you let me praise you. I'm not satisfied, I don't think... I'm... Oh, for God's sake. I hate this interaction stuff on here. It's so rubbish. In real life, if your manager praises you, are you going to then have a go at them for praising you? It don't make sense.
I'm sorry, I went too quick there, didn't I? Go back. So, um, yeah, so we're playing Rangers next. We had Almeron and Wilson in the team of the week for the Premiership. That's good. Joe Wilcox is back. Uh, one thing to do is detail. Oh. Just speed things. Oh, so let's, let's do it anyway. That was a pointless thing to do, wasn't it? Um... Keep going. Forty-one minutes into the stream doesn't feel like it's not long. I feel like I've been like doing ten minutes. Um, do not have enough funds. Okay, I don't think Matty Longstaff's coming for now. If I can remember to bring him in in January, I will. See if the board will improve the facilities and the coaching. Hopefully, they will, especially as we're doing quite well at the moment. Hopefully, they can reward that. Let's add him because he is pretty good. Uh, add Conza. No, I won't bother adding him. All right, Rangers. Starting lineup is pr so far the same as the last game. It's exactly the same. Nice to just have an unchanged team it makes it a lot a lot easier. Um, yep. Yeah, so right. let's see how we get on versus Rangers then. Joe Linton. Oh, it's the post. Unlucky. Oh, back to Almerant. Oh, skies it over. I know, I think the goalkeeper saved it, actually. Trippier with the cross now, with the corner. Nicely saved by Butland. Target with the throw in to Gordon. Gordon with the shot. Don't know what the hell he was attempting there. A lot of my Newcastle players just want to blast it over the bar, annoyingly. Don't get me wrong, it gets the uh, shot count up, but if they're going to not be on target, it's pretty pointless doing them. Right, Gordon with the ball now. What's he going to do? Passes it to target. Target. Oh, what a lovely little right foot shot. Target is naturally left footed, I think, um, with a nice little right footed. Shot in the corner. Well done to him. 1 0 versus Rangers. Come on, let's go. Raise the team. That might backfire on me, but you never know. Napoli drawing against Benfica helps us because they're both probably our main challengers in that group. So, uh, any surprises on it? Where's the win? Omeron. Intercepted by Dowell. Oh, target now. Where's he going? Nobody knows. Back to Shah. Shah to Trippier. I feel like they're doing a lot of sideways passes here. Bruno. Brahim. Oh, what a pass to Gordon. Oh. 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 It's a beautiful pass by... Uh, yes, I can't remember now. Oh, we've got a lot of players in Naku. Let's uh, do some jigging around. Let's Elliot Anderson. Uh, 
Tonali on Gushin. On the run? Oh no. But no one should play. Uh from it. Ah. Hopefully we've got enough in us to see the match out. Just gonna quickly hydrate. Joe Linton, oh, button save, but I know he didn't. Another shot skied over. Trippier, it's Almiron. Almiron probably doesn't know what he's going to do. Gives it back to Trippier. Trippier to Joe Linton. Joe Linton to Wilson, I think. Burn, oh, sky. What players love sh skying it over, don't they? Good little one nil victory. So our games aren't exactly the most entertaining. We don't, we mostly only win by one goal, but you know we're quite good defensively, so that's good. Tanani gets his makes his debut for Newcastle. Get two point four million add to the money. That's good. Let's see if there's any transfer fees we can no transfer clauses. Sorry. Um, Bournemouth next. I've been to Bournemouth. Very nice place. Went on there. Um, went there for my girlfriend's birthday. Uh, went there for about three or four days and really enjoyed it to the point where I didn't want to leave. I wanted to stay there, but it's very expensive living in Bournemouth. So unless we win the lottery, we ain't going to be living there anytime soon. But uh, you never know. All right, let's see if we can get a affiliate to get us some more. All right. So. The one thing you can do when it comes to affiliates and that is you can you can you can try all five of them before the board accepts it in one go. So the next one I would like to do is probably expand the scouting knowledge. Try that one. No, they're not happy. So we'll try thinking about my we're seeking a partnership with a club that will improve our chances of signing talented youngsters from abroad. So let's try that one. No, they're not happy with that one either. Let's try this one. We should launch a search for a new affiliate in order to secure the first options on players from a club with a good recruit good youth recruitment. They ain't budging. Right, the last option is ask for a, a new affiliate club enable us to send players out on loan. No, and then budging. Okay. Worth a try. I'm not gonna bother asking for a new another We'll go recruitment. Whenever you ask for a sports scientist, they never bloody let you. Um, so I can't remember what I was going to do now. Nick Pope injured. Oh, luckily only for five days. Sorry, I did that way too quickly. I do apologise. Um, improve the youth facilities. I think the board accepted it. Yeah. So there you go. With uh, they've accepted the training facilities request, they've accepted the junior coaching request, we've accepted the number of recruitment analysis uh in our club, and also youth with uh facilities. That's good. Uh oh yeah, I figured out one. We didn't want to look at uh current facility uh, current affiliate. Sorry. So we've got one in Canada. Um, merchandise. So we'll keep that one. Keep that one because of merchandise. Angus is probably a good one to have. Rwanda merchandise. So we'll leave that one. We'll get rid of this one. We can't get rid of that one. Uh, we've got loads of affiliates here. I didn't realise Newcastle had this many affiliates in real life. Um, those. Can't get rid of them. Bath City. We can't get rid of them. Bangor. We can't get rid of Stickers, we can't get rid of them, but I don't think we can get rid of any of these. No wonder they won't give us an affiliate. We've got too many as it is. Oh dear, I'll never realise how many affiliates they have. 
We've got a lot in the uh, English non leagues and uh, we can't cancel any of them. Let's just. Oh, yeah, there's so many. Juventus? It's an interesting one. Magpies, quite funny. Uh, yeah, I don't think we'll be able to get rid of any of these until next season, model. Newcastle in uh, Northern Ireland, Newcastle Jets, obviously. Newcastle Sicilians, well, that's a new one, never heard that one before. Newcastle United in Republic of Ireland. St. Mirren for uh, Scottish fans out there. Tony Law, no, Tal Law, sorry. I don't know why I said Tony Law, sorry. Uh, that's an interesting one, Vizel Kobe in Japan. Yeah, so we we'll probably won't be getting any uh, ask, uh, getting any affiliates for a while. I think we're maxed out on that one. Hey, it looks like he's going to make his first team debut for Newcastle. We'd obviously poked in, probably injured, or well, not injured, he's probably just not match fit because he's probably come back because it was only two to five days, but I was going to play the hair anyway, I think. Give Pope a rest. Yep, we'll add him because he's, he's very good. Uh, no, to the... Nice. So, other than uh, De Gea for Pope, Livermore on for Trippier, central defence same as usual, target in the left. We've got Longstaff instead of Bruno, Tonali instead of Joe Linton. So, quite a changed team, to be honest. Um, the forward four are the same. All right, let's uh, see how we get on with this one. Hopefully, we can carry on. We are we are gonna miss um the set pieces and the crossing of Trippier, but you know, it is what it is. Hopefully Target will step up. Brian. Oh, that was a terrible shot. Oh. oh, he scored from a header. Been a bit of a boring first half, isn't it? Not much has happened. Let's try encouraging the team a bit. Amaron and Diaz aren't playing very well. Hopefully I'll, that'll change. You know? De Gea with the pass to Longstaff. Longstaff now. Beautiful pass to Almiron. Almiron pushes forward. Is he going to pass it? No. What's he going to do? He lost the ball. Luckily, Liver Marty there. Probably pronounce his name. With the shot. Skies it over. Ugh. <sighs> Very frustrating that my players uh, think they can blast it in from 20 yards all the time. Bournemouth with the free kick in the box. Oh, that was a great great free kick by uh, Sinister. However you pronounce his name. Again, I apologise. Add him to the shortlist. He's a pretty good player. Rated him when he was at Leeds, to be honest. 
I don't know how Leeds got relegated last season. They had such a great team with the players that they have. Right, I've asked the... I've demanded more. Oh, that's a foul. Is that in the box? I mean, it looks like it's out of the box, but apparently it was in the box. Ah, uh, no penalty. That's a shame. What the hell was that all about? Okay. It was a waste of a free kick. Right. Almiron, you're coming off. You've been bloody useless. Uh, Yaz, you're coming off. Put Lewis Hall in there. And then put the young... Uh, Annie... Annie... Annie, um... Woo. Andy and Woo. There you go. Botman looks like he's he's giving everything. Can burn on from there. No, Bournemouth with another corner. I don't think we're going to get anything out of this one. We might, we might be coming to our first loss of the season. Especially if they score a second and oh, we're screwed. Off that. Right, let's try berating the team, see if that'll spur him on. Come on. Anderson now. Don't you lose that ball. That's it. You give it to Limerato. Limerato, whatever his name is. No. Oh. Target. Oh, he nearly scored an equaliser then. Let's see if I can... I was going to try and fire up the players, but too late now. Bournemouth again. It's okay, target. I mean, could have took your time with that. Right, Sharp. We've got literally less than two minutes left now. It's either now or never. Longstaff. Hall. Hall with a chip to Anderson. Anderson loses it. Great. Well done. Oh, oh. 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 Hit the post there. Corner. Come on. We really are missing Trippier, aren't we? Target now with the cross. Oh, that's that then, lads, I think. Oh, no, maybe not. We've got one more highlight. Another corner. I oh, know, free kick, sorry. Hall. Hit the bar, I think. Oh, come on. We've got a corner now. This is definitely probably the last chance of the game for us. Come on. Target now with the corner. Crosses it in. Oh, come on. Tenali, can you make something out of this? Oh. Oh, for God's sake. I don't know where this... this oh, okay. oh, well, that's our first defeat of the season. It was going to happen sooner or later. I didn't think it would happen to Bournemouth, though. But fair play to Bournemouth. We're still top, though, somehow. Um, else we must have lost. Oh, God, we got... Oh, it's in the... Carabao Cup, that's all right. Uh, add him just in case. Not that we need a goalkeeper, add him as well. I tend to have a massive shortlist by the end of the season, just five, four or five star players. Right, how do you pronounce his name? Tino Livramento. Tino Livramento. There we go. By the end of this season, I'm going to get every single Newcastle player's name right. Up to an hour on the stream now. Uh, thank you for anybody that's watching. Thank your support is uh, is always welcome. Uh, it's been impressive the form of Target. Yeah, Target has been Target's been uh, one of my players of the season so far. I think he's been. I didn't think I didn't rate him that much in real life, but he seems to be doing very well for us. And yeah, Shara's been good as well. Praise them. Well done. Well done. And when they're at Carrero Cup, usually the Premiership team. The big premiership teams don't play their um their main starting eleven. So I might 
rotate slightly, even though we're playing Man City, because I just, even with our strongest team, we're probably going to lose. So we might as well give some of the players a rest and give some of the other squad players and the young players uh, a chance as well, like uh, Annie Yanwu. So, do this. Let's do that. More rotation. There we go. Isaac coming back into the team. He is slightly injured, but we'll see how it goes. Spira is going to make his debut, I think. I don't think he's played for us yet. Has he? No, he's not played for us yet. He's done well for, he's done well for the uh, under 21s, though. Two two goals from two, two games. So he deserves a chance in the first team today. Lewis Hall, we'll have him in there. Joe Linton's back. The defence looks relatively the same. We know that well. I don't know that we can target a rest. Right then. Okay. That's how we get on versus Man City. Let's see if we're up there yet with them or not. We'll probably still need a bit of work before we get as good as them. I think like Newcastle in real life and on FM, they've got a, a team good enough to be at least top five, if not Champions League. I know that in real life they uh, they made the Champions League last season with a top four finish, but um, they're not doing as well this season. But they they will they will pick things up. I think I think they'll be there. There, I rate Eddie Howe. I think he's a great manager, and I think uh, one day he'll be in, he'll probably be England manager eventually. I'd rather have him than someone like Frank Lampard or Steven Gerrard anyway. Uh, Man City now. They've got Alvarez in there. Oh, they've bloody scored. I think they've got a decent, even a decent backup team is better than our first team. Oh, no, they're playing Haaland as well, so they might they're basically playing their best team and they're absolutely thrashing us by the looks of it. Are they going to score again? Bit of a weird camera angle, that highlight, wouldn't it? Is it with the corner? Can we uh, counter attack from this? Yes, we. No, we can't. Oh, go on then. Let's go. Go on, Espera. Ah, oh, got my hopes up there. All right, we've got the free kick now. Sharp. Just make sure you don't lose the ball. Do not give it to the opposition. Back to Shah. Shah to Liramento. Joe Linton. Isa. Oh, yes. Now, is that offside? Oh, yeah, I was going to say, I thought that was offside. That's a shame if it is. But it is what it is. Oh, it's been awarded. Get in. 1-1. One, one. Isa coming back strong. Where is the players? Oh no, Haaland. Yes, well done, De Gea. That's why we signed you, mate, to make the big saves. Spur is not doing very well, that's a shame. Right, let's uh let's try motivating a Spur a bit. Fire up, let's see what that let's see if that does anything. No, that had the opposite effect of what we wanted. Great. Might take a spear off in a bit. I'll give him another 10 minutes and that. Right, go Linton now. To Isaac. Loses it. Oh, no, he doesn't. There we go, Gordon. Got it back. Joe Linton. Oh, this could this could lead to oh Livermanto Livermanto for God's sake, he's coming off. Greedy bugger. All right, put Ryan Powell on. Take a spear off. Should we put we'll put uh him on Sean whatever his name is. Uh, Mav Mav Diddy Mav Diddy. All right, there we go. with the cross 
Man did he with the ball. Oh, that was a good cross that was as well. Burn now. Is he gonna oh no? Is he gonna go back? Let's cross it in. Oh, nice little lofty cross. Oh yes. Mother did he. Super sub. Showing us for how it's done. Didn't he used to play for Arsenal? Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, Arsenal youth team, yeah. Joe Linson. Tapal. The subs are doing well at the moment. Mother Diddy and Pal are working very well on that on that wing. All right, let's pause this. Uh, Gordon, you're not doing enough. So, and uh, Annie Amaru is coming on. Or are we going to take Botman off? I think. Pause in. Hopefully that will. Hopefully we won't need to make any more subs unless it's a major injury. Oh, Man City with the break now. Daku, Daku, sorry, Harland and scores. Uh, maybe it was too uh, too much mass for for this team to be able to beat Man City. Let's, uh, we still we still won't give an hope though. We're still uh, matching them when it comes down to it. And City down with the corn of the break with the free kick. Sorry, Akanji. Oh, I was lucky. That was hard, and you probably scored it. Uh, oh, was good. Okay. Oh, mother did he? Oh, he nearly become an instant hero at Newcastle then. No, no, what's going on here? Oh, for God's sake. Come on, lads. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on, De Gea. You show Harland who's boss. Come on. Ooh, your shit. Ah. That is unfortunate. Oh, well, when you're playing Man City with Haaland on FM, what do you expect at the end of the day? All right, let's try berating the team, see if that'll do any. Don't just probably make them all sad. Oh, you never know. That can't be a horrible. I was going to say, that can't be just it. Oh! Oh, he's that. Come on. You should have scored that. That was ridiculous. I'll put, I'll put it down to the fact that he's probably knackered, bless him. So that's her annoying. Ford won't be happy with that as well, because I think if you look at uh, the vision, are they bothered about the uh, Carabao Cup? No, they don't. Oh, hold on. Be competitive, well. I mean, we had to play Man City, you know, what do you expect? Right. Tottenham game next. Away versus Tottenham. I think this will be a lot of yellow cards. I am predicting now if... All, I'm waiting to I'm waiting to see what the lineups are before I do my bookings travel prediction. There'll be I think there'll be a, quite a few bookings though. Both Newcastle and Tottenham are probably dirtiest teams in the Premiership at the moment, especially Spurs. If Romero is playing, he's going to get booked definitely. Joe Linton will probably get booked. So let's see. Let's see what the lineups are first. Right, so for us, Pope is back in goal. Trippier's back, that's good, we've missed him. Shaw, Botman, Target, so back to a, a consistent defence. Bruno Gomez in back in there. Then Ali instead of Joe Linton. Almeron on the right, Brahim on the, in the middle, Gordon on the left, Wilson. So basically, other than 
Finale is pretty much the team we've had most of the season. Bellington, Bellington's on the sub -trend. maybe he just needs a break. Um, right, so if Tonali's playing instead of Joe Linton, then I'm pr probably going to say Tonali's probably going to get booked, I reckon, because he's got he's he's got he's got it in him to get booked. So is Bruno actually. So if we go, if we go Bruno, Gamares, and Tonali to get booked for Newcastle, and I'll probably have a look see what the Spurs team is. Look, Spurs, Romero's playing. Who else is in there? No, I would say if it was going to be anybody else, it would have been Persich or Richarlison that was going to get booked. So I'll say Romero to get booked, Tonali to get booked, and I'm probably going to say, I'm going to say Botman instead of Romero. So we're going Botman, Tonali, Romero, booking treble. So that would probably be from my previous experience in doing these, probably about 25 to 1. So I'll put a fiver on that, get 125 quid back. Anyway, target with the ball now. Gives it to Gordon. Gordon runs across the pitch. Gives it to Almiron. Almiron does do the same. Back to Gordon. Gordon lays it off to target. Target to Bruno. Bruno with the ball to Brian. Brian, oh, deflected. Got a corner. Corner comes to nothing. Try encouraging the team, see if that helps. Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. Trippy with the throw in. To Wilson, now to Sharp. Sharp to Bruno. Bruno sends it back to Pope. Pope to Botman. Botman nearly loses it. That was quite scary. Tonali now to Wilson. Wilson turns around, passes it to oh, Bruno with the shot. Got deflected. Corner. Trippy with the corner now. Loops it forward. Oh. Shoot, Tonali. Oh. Close to the score on a wonder goal, man. Try and cut. No booking so far, I'm surprised by that. Spurs now with possession. Persich. Hopefully Trippier will sort him out. Well, he does. That need to see the goal. Spurs seem to be picking up their, their steam now. Gordon. To Bruno. Bruno with the ball. He blasts it. Goes wide. Wish they stopped bloody hitting it from anywhere. Tottenham passing it around in their defence to the goalie. Oh, do they lose it? Do we lose? Do we gain possession? No, we don't. Oh, we do now. We've got the ball. Shah, to Trippier, Trippier now, Will, oh, Wilson nearly, it's, oh, oh what a mistake, oh look at that, that was a right defensive error there between Vicaro and, let's say, Van, Van der Leyen, it could, it could have been Romero, Romero's too busy trying to uh, murder people on the pitch, uh, we're just going to demand a little bit more, we're going to 1-0 up, see if we can get another goal, this be another defensive cock up by Spurs or are they going to come and equalise now they've lost the ball Potman now to Shah Shah to Ramaran back to Shah on the wing now to Trippier Trippier now passes it to Almiron Almiron in the centre to Bruno Bruno what a pass by Bruno to Callum Wilson I know that's going to be disallowed though but um, it was a great little ball shame it was shame Wilson was slightly offside Oh, 
I stand corrected. I apologize. I spoke too soon. Good goal. It was a great little pass by Bruno. 2 0 up against Spurs. I'm happy with that. I can, I'll take that. No need to put any subs on as well, by the looks of it just yet. So we'll just wait a bit longer. Probably put Nathan Aniwamu on the. Ah, oh, there we go. Or, Obviously, they obviously must have heard us. There we go. Do that. Perfect time to pull him on where the pressure's not necessarily on us. Tenali has not been playing well, so we'll put Joe Linton there. So uh, our bookings treble is down, but nobody's got booked yet anyway. Joe Linton will probably get booked though. He loves, uh, he loves getting booked. Oh, target was a bit dodgy there. Oh, 2 1. Oh, pressure's back on us now. Let's try and uh, say focus. There we go. Spurs with the corner. Could get it out. Come on, Joe Linton. Oh, no. Yes, come on, ref. That's got to be offside. VAR. 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 Yeah, Ooh. yeah, come on. We love you, VAR. Let's just give him some encouragement. Only young, so we don't want to startle him. From it to Shah, Shah to Trippier, Trippier to Almiron, Almiron to Bruno, Bruno now. Ah, oh, I think I was there. Andy Amu out of position there. That's not good. Right back to Trippier, Trippier to Bruno, loses it to bloody. Oh, there you go. Back to Bruno gets it back. Go on, Bruno. Drum it. Is he just going to keep running? Yeah, he is. Let's see how far he goes. Oh, it's a good little cross. And Wilson skies it over. Let me just move my I'm about on OBS. Okay. Oh no. Right, let's just shrink it. See me better then. That's good. Alrighty. Yeah. So you can still see me. So. Uh, this down. Oh no. Still getting used to all this, by the way, if you haven't gathered. That's better. Right, see what it looks like on Switch. Yep, seems a lot better. Right, so okay, let's crack on. Nice little victory versus Spurs. We just scraped it by in the end. Champions League game versus Napoli away next. That'll be a tough game. They've got a very strong team, Napoli. They um they were very lucky or careful not to uh, get rid of their best players in the summer after they won the I think they won the Serie A last season. Um, uh, that's for a new get it. That's for a new sports scientist probably won't probably won't get it though. Right. We do with that uh, increase in the wage budget just to get us out the red a bit. Praise him. Well done, Nathan Oli Carleon. Congratulations to Wilson. Running from inside the Sheffield United half, the striker skins an opponent. Or in a deftly executed finish from 20.
Give us a new contract. No, we won't do that. Which is expected, certainly September. Won't give us uh, any sports scientists. Will let us. It will improve the wages we can give to the coach. That's good. Right, uh, Napoli next. Do this quickly. Three. The better staff we can bring in, the better the club will be. Just why not? Right, Korea and Isaac back to full fitness, so hopefully we've got a stronger bench as well. So Pope and Goal, Trippier on the right, who's starting to uh, link up very well with Almiron uh, from this. Kieran, and, Kieran Trippier and Miguel Almiron have a strong partnership and play well together in their selective roles. That's good to hear. Same with Shah playing with Botman. They're forming a nice little part, a defensive partnership. Target, um, he's had a, quite a few different partners uh, on the left wing, so we, that's probably why. Tonali, Bruno in the midfield. Bruno playing a more attacking position in this game. And then obviously Almiron on the right, Brahim in the middle. And Joe Linton for a change on the left as an inside forward. Wilson up front. So, see how it goes. See what Napoli's starting lineup is. Um, so they they are they oh they have they have got him in there. Carver Madonna as they call him, but they're not got uh Amasharin or what Almasharin uh, or the uh, Nigerian striker. So that will benefit us, I think. Then again, Raspadori is very good as well. First highlight of the game is a corner to Napoli, and they nearly score. That's quite concerning. It's just encouraged. Almiron now, he racing down that wing. He's still going, he's still going, he's still going. He's he lost the ball. All that for nothing, Almiron. Well, we got the ball back though. Trippier, is he gonna give it back to Almiron? Almiron, are you gonna Okay, you passed the responsibility and failed it? Let's get that ball back. No, 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 no. Oh, for God's sake, don't give him the ball. Right, I'm going to berate the team. That was just ridiculous. I'm having this. Bloody hell, Napoli with the corner. Oh, for God's sake. Well, I think that's that. But I mean, then again, it's only 25 minutes gone, but we need to do something. Man more. We only have one shot. Oh, come on, Trippier. That's it. Wilson laid it off. Come on. That was a, that would have been a perfect through ball to him over there. Almiron. Almiron now with the ball. Loses it again. Almiron. You're annoying me. You're coming off in a bit if you carry on. Bruno. 
Bruno gets fouled, he carries on, Brahim loses the ball. Come on lads, focus. Well done Botman, well recovered by Botman. Shah to target. Target now with a great ball to Bruno. Bruno going to do something about, oh, nearly. A bit selfish by Bruno, but you never know with him. He's always got it in the locker to score. Oh, uh, oh, uh, nearly. Parisian. We are starting to get in the game a bit more now. And then I say that and then watch them score now. Famous last bloody words, eh? That needs to be a TikTok highlight, doesn't it? It'll be a miracle now for us to salvage anything out of this game. I can't see us winning. I can't see us even getting a draw out of this. We've got a score. We got one back. That's good. Let me own words there, didn't I? We got one back. Right. 3 1 at half time. We need to do better. Come on, Newcastle. Hands are behind you. The Geordie boys are behind you. Joe Linton's not playing very well, and he's got booked. What a surprise. St. Ali, Hashar, and Joe Linton, usual suspects getting booked. Go on, St. Ali. Oh, well, that's a great little ball there, Trippier. Let's Joe Linton off. He's not doing. Let's put Corey on. Look at targets, knackered. Dan Burn on. Nakid as well. Who else we need? Oh, we're off as well. Hey, Barnes on. Well, we've made a few subs now, so hopefully. Seems to be doing better in the second half. Oh, what a mistake. Come on. Yes, 3-2. Is that... Yep, yeah, no VAR, so we ain't got to worry about that. Come on, we can win this now. Well, not win it, but we can definitely get a point out of this. Hope is possibly injured, so that's not... Oh, for God's sake. Just when I got ahead of myself and then they freaking score, I'm just not going to talk anymore. I think if I keep saying things, the opposite will happen. I really, really think Napoli are going to thrash us. We're now down to 10 men because we've used all my subs and Harvey Barnes, who's only just come on, is knackered, so he's going to come off. So I don't think we're going to do very well. I don't think we're going to get anything out of this now. Slight hope when we were 3-2 and they're going to score again now. Oh, no, good save, Pope. Well done. Uh, career. Shocking, absolutely shocking. Burn now. Oh, that was a terrible ball there. The, the, the team's absolutely been the team's been terrible today. Trippier has played well, so fair play to him. I'm going to praise him, even though the rest of the game the team's been shit. Sorry for swearing, being rubbish. We'll praise him because he deserves it. We got a booking. What about that? That was a very disappointing loss to Napoli. Uh, yeah, we just got to get on with it now. Board have uh, accepted our request to uh, 
Upper more wages to physio and assistant manager and director of football. So that's Chelsea next. Hopefully we can... Uh, uh, well, it's going to be a top of the league game, that is, because I think Chelsea are second. Yeah, they are second. So it's going to be an early top of the league game. Pressure will be on us, but hopefully we can beat them. Chelsea was the other team I was going to consider managing before I decided on uh, Newcastle. I only decided on Newcastle because they seem their team seems more settled. Than Chelsea, Chelsea squad just looks all over the place, and I'd probably want to get rid of half the players, and it just would be an absolute. It would just take forever to get it tower like it. Whereas Newcastle seem a bit more settled, and there's a decent first team there. So yeah, so, and obviously I prefer Newcastle than Chelsea. So the team looks unchanged again. Pope in goal, Trippier on the right, Shaw and Burn again, um, centre midfield. I oh, know it's usually Botman, sorry. Burns could be in for Botman. Target on the left, Bruno back into his familiar role there. Uh, Joe Linton in his familiar role. Almiron, Raheem Diaz, Gordon, and Wilson. Go. Hopefully, we can beat the boys in blue. First highlight of the game is us. Joe Linton. Oh, great save by their goalie Sanchez. Joe Linton seems more up for this game than he was in the last game. That's a good sign. Trippy with the ball to Gordon. Murderick, who was absolutely. Wing wizard, two players booked already in the first ten minutes is not a good sign at all. Let's let's just focus. Let's put focus. I think you put calm down. It doesn't mean calm down your aggression. I think it's calm down your play. If you put focus. Hopefully that means well, owling people. I think that's just what I think it is. Anyway, I could be wrong. Trippier now with the ball. Oh, what a great ball. And Gordon on the rebound. Get in. Gordon, the ginger assassin. Well, I mean, he's not... I don't think he's ginger in real life, but on FM he's ginger. I think he's blonde in real life. Or he might be ginger and he dyes his hair blonde. I don't know. Got a strong bench now. Got most of our players back from injury. I think. I think that helps. Trippier to Shah. Back to Trippier. Trippier to Pope. Pope looks up, passes it to Target. Target now on the left. Gordon. Ah, oh, Gordon. Great save by Pope. Keeps us in the game. Gordon now. Loses it. Sharp. We just see out the first half, still winning 1-0. 
not long left now. Oh, Almiron, what are you doing, you donkey? Good tackle. Oh. Trippier with a great ball to Almiron. Almiron now. Couldn't get it to Wilson, I think. Corner. Target now with the corner. Easily defended by Sanchez. Loses the ball nearly to Gordon. Gordon pressing there. Would like to see that. Wilson is playing rubbish, so he's coming off. Isaac's coming on now. Hopefully Isaac will get us a goal. Target now with the corner. Loops the ball in. Oh, I don't know what up there, but Joe Linton scores from the rebound by the looks of it. Joe Linton, a crowd favourite. The Geordie boys love him. Gonna praise the boys that did well. Oh, oh, great bit of uh, play there, great bit of uh, visionary there. Sorry, great bit of vision, but he's up there after the defensive mistake. 3 0. We are top of the league. We are top of the league. I spoke too soon of a jinx this year. Oh, I was lucky. Right. Oh, Almiron loses the ball. Palmer, rapid by the looks of it. Oh, goes past that, uh, goes past target. Target should have done better there. Gallagher scores a hopefully a consolation goal. I hope it's not the first of many. Try, let's try uh, defend. Hope the shot to Trippier, to Joe Linton, to Almiron. Almiron now to Anderson. Loses the ball. Chelsea to play out from the back. Great tackle by uh, Longstaff, who's currently. But we can't take him off because we're uh, used to all our subs, so he's just going to have to get on with it. Oh, loses the ball. I let him off because he's not. He's not. He's not very. He's uh. He's injured at the moment. I don't think he's got it in him. Oh, that was a terrible miss by Sterling. He should have done better with that. Thank God he didn't though. Target now. Just hopefully going to waste a bit of time here just to see the game out. Great goal by Almiron. We definitely, definitely won now. 4 1 versus Chelsea. Happy days. Great, great performance from our team, especially from Almiron. Long stuff out for up to three weeks. Shame. Almiron out for five to eight days. Right. We got we haven't got a game for twelve days. So I'm just gonna holiday. So I apologize if it's a bit boring or watching this. Just gonna check my phone while I'm waiting for the sort out.
Let's have a quick look to see how long we've done this now. So we've done this an hour and 40 minutes, so probably do another 20 minutes and then I'll have a 10 minute break and then I shall be live streaming me trying out different servers, trying to learn, navigate the world of GTA roleplay. Uh, and as you can see last night's after last night's stream, I didn't do very well. So uh, yeah, I definitely need to improve on that. Right, so let's go back here. Seven more days. We're going to play Man City next. They're currently uh, six in the Premiership. I'm surprised by that. Um, they did beat. I think they did beat us last game, didn't they? Time they played us, yeah, they did, didn't they? So um, I don't fancy. I think. I think even though we're top of the league, I still think they're the favourites to win that game. But we will see. We're doing very well this season, so we're not going to uh, complain too much. We've got a very consistent team. As long as we don't have too many injuries, we do. Um, we do have a decent first team and uh, subs bench, but beyond that, we do lack uh, quality in depth. Almiron and Joe Linton were in the Premiership team of the week. That's good. Gonna praise Pal. Sorry, yeah, Rory Pal. Um, he he played all right in that Carabao Cup match. To be honest, hopefully you'll progress and get better. So they're telling us to make De Gea as vice captain. This 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 won't backfire on us, will it? We'll see. Um. It will. Thomas Lamar. In. Most of the time I just add these in case they either get transfer listed or basically their contracts are expiring. It's also good just to have a decent short list of players in case um, certain positions strengthened or you need backup or whatever. Add him as well. Uh, there we go. Luckily, oh, Dominic's injured for a few days. Luckily, by well, the looks of it, oh no, still a few, I'm not going to say anything because players are jinxed. Luckily, we didn't get many injuries from international break this time. Good. So, De Gea in goal for this one. He's out for revenge on Haaland. Trippier, Sharp, Botman, target. Tonali in the defensive midfield position. Joe Linton, career on the right. Brahim in the middle. Gordon on left. Isaac on up front. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I need popped up there. Right, first highlight is us. So let's make it count. It'd be great to get a goal in the first couple of minutes, wouldn't it? Oh, 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 yes. Diaz. This has been a good little sign, isn't he? Has. Dan Ashworth working his magic again.
Brahim. Diaz. Oh, what a ball to Isa. That's going to be disallowed though. I think he was slightly off. I say this every time and then it ends up doing the opposite. So uh, I do think he was slightly ahead of the defender there. Oh, okay. Obviously, they're listening to me. Works every time. Good with the ball now. Great save by De Gea. Raising it. De Gea as well. De Gea. Oh, that was a dirty tackle there. He needs to be sent off for that. Oh, no booking or anything. I'm surprised by that. I took him right out. Charlotte out. Joe Linton. Lose the ball. That's the end of that highlight. Well, I forget. Sorry. Um, oh, he's still injured. Seven weeks. Okay. I remember to sign him in January. The legend that is Deli Ali. It's such a shame his career went downhill as it did. I still remember that bloody goal he scored. Um, flicked it over himself. Basically, the similar to Paul Gascoigne against Scotland in Euro '96. It was just a great bit of skill, and it's just a shame that he's, he he went for it. He had so many demons, and he couldn't carry on being the player that he was because he was. One of the best players in the world at one point. He was basically what Bellingham is now, but hopefully Bellingham won't. You know, hopefully he'll fulfil his potential. Whereas I think Deli Ali was a bit unfortunate. Part of it's his fault. Part of it's uh, unfortunately what he went through when he was younger and stuff. Um, fair play to him being brave and talking about what the abuse he had in his life. Um, takes a it takes a really brave person to do that. So. Fair play to him. Now, Man City now, Graylish with the ball. Man City with the ball now. Um, back to their goalie, Edison. Edison to Aki. I feel like we're uh, we're forcing them to pass it back and that. Oh, sorry about that. I forgot to put my phone on silent. I just need to do that. Oh, Trippier. Oh, Trippier's such a good player. I really rate Trippier. Newcastle, when they signed him, I, I just thought it was unbelievable their signing for them. He's he's so um he's so he, he he he's such a key player for them when it comes to their style of play and his set pieces. Um he's, he definitely should be England's right back in the Euros, I think, to be honest. Go on, Trippier. Oh We're doing way better than I thought we were against Man City, but this is Man City. There is still time. They could get a point out of this, or they could get a win if we completely uh, fall apart. But I'm hoping that we don't. Great interception there by Botman. Don't lose the ball, Joe Linton. No, no. Ugh. Offside, 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 ref. Offside? Offside? Oh. The referee is not my friend today. It's almost if I shouldn't say anything, should I really? Because it's just like, it just seems to happen. Every time I say something, the opposite happens. Curse. Sharp to Correa. Back to Sharp. Curry, how long we got left? Eight minutes plus added time. Come on. 
don't cock up here. I just, oh, I just, I just got a feeling that this is going to be a Man City win, isn't it? Come on, Bot Brahim. All right, let's tinker around. Let's take Joe Linton. will take you off, but Anderson off. Uh, Char, you're knackered, so we'll put Dumper. So yeah, as I said before, the plan is to basically finish up in the next uh, next 10 minutes and then I'm going to have a break for about half an hour maybe, maybe less and then get on with some GTA roleplay and then tomorrow, I'll probably do the same tomorrow, I'll probably do a couple of hours of Football Manager and then a couple of hours of GTA roleplay and then after that I'm going to be away for Christmas for a few days so I probably won't be streaming again until the day after Boxing Day so but then after that I should be relatively regular I mean obviously I've got a personal life as well got a partner so there will be times where I won't be streaming probably on the weekends I don't usually tend I won't be probably streaming on the weekends that much but um I'll try and stream I'll try and stream as much as possible really Benfica away next in the Champions League. We really do need to get a win out of ben, uh, from Benfica after we lost to Napoli. If, we, if we're to qualify to the next stage, we can't just rely on wins versus Rangers. We need to get a win or two over the other teams. It's a, it's a, you know, it's basically a must-win game versus Benfica, and they're currently fourth in the group. So I mean, even Rangers is doing better than them. So hopefully, that means we should be able to convince them to beat them, but. You never know. We'll see. Have a diddy. Doing well. Who? Never heard of him. Oh, he must be one of them regens, isn't it? Probably will get rid of the cells, actually, to be honest. Yeah, definitely. No need. He's gone from being three and a half to, or was it two and a half? He's gone from two and a half to being two. So he's on the, he's on the, uh, down. So basically, he's uh, he's not going to be, he's he's going to be getting worse and worse gradually. Sorry, I couldn't get my words out then. Yeah. One million offer from Calgary. Oh yeah, I'll I'll, I'll take that. What? Uh, where's your zero? Yeah, I suppose. Gets him out the door, doesn't it? Joe Brayson's asking price. Uh, scroll player to provide, yeah. Playing time, status of backup is better fit. Okay, that he won't be happy. Individual training plan laid out for... Botman's doing well. Tonight's doing well. Okay. Just set long stuff a um that he's concerned about his playing time, so we'll play him a bit more, hopefully. Then again, is he better than Tonali, Joe Linton and Bruno? No, he's not. 
So he should really be happy with playing the odd game here and there and coming on as a sub. The alternative is going somewhere else and probably not playing for his te as team as good. At the end of the day, we're top of the Premiership at the moment. So then again, he's got ambition. Fair play to him. He wants to play regular first team football. I don't blame him. Right. Big game now. Probably biggest game of the season so far. De Gea and goal. Trippier on the right. Burn in defence with Botman. That's a new one. Sean must not be uh, Sean might be injured. Target. Bruno and Tonali. Almiron. Raheem Diaz. Joe Linton on the left again. Isaac. Right. Let's see how we get on. Bear with us. Two seconds. Let's go see what we can do. Almiron loses the ball. That's not a good start. Almiron, I'll get the ball back. Oh, go on. Yes, Diaz. Probably been our best player of the season so far. Diaz, he's just um, him and Target, I would say. Maybe Trippier. We've got a few. To be honest, we, we do, we've got a few players that could probably state the claim for player of the season so far. But I'd say Trippier, Target, and probably Diaz. Maybe Joe Linton, I suppose. All right. Target now with the corner. Floats it in. This is a game we definitely need to win. So let's get another goal and we can kind of relax a bit. Oh, caught the goalie off there with the early shot. Trippy now with the corner. Don't think he could defend that well. We've got to the nearly two hour mark, so at this game, I'm going to save it and have a little break. Rest my voice because I've got another two hour GTA stream later on. Eventually, as I want to get used to it, I'll probably do longer streams. I uh, just want to give myself time to have a bit of a social life as well. And obviously, like I said, I've got a girlfriend, so I'm going to make sure that I don't annoy her by neglecting her. So um, she will be moving in with me most of the week, starting in January. So I'm going to try and make sure I do my streams when she's at work, preferably. Not that she's got a problem with it; she won't. She won't bother. But it's just it'll just be distracting for me if she's sat on the sofa and I'm trying to do this. It'll just uh, and then you know, and it'll just take away time that we have together. Great goal there by Dan Byrne, big Dan Byrne, six foot. Seven, I think he is. I can't remember now. Six or six, actually. Um, let's put Harvey Barnes on. But hmm. now they are. And we'll put Sean Long stuff on. That for now. What's Mendy still playing? I don't know, how old is he? 35 years old. I remember him playing for Man City, it feels like bloody years ago, but it probably wasn't. But, hold on, wait, this high. Ah, oh, it's annoying. Right, when did he play for Man City? So it wasn't that long ago, actually. It just it feels longer, but it was only um, three years ago, four years ago, sorry.
Come on, we can't we can't concede now. We need to win this game. Come on. No. Fuck off that. Right, it's changed. Very defensive. Do frequent time wasting. Out of possession. Let's uh No, let's leave that for now. Right. On Newcastle. Oh, for God's sake. Here we go. Come on. Let's get the ball away. That's it. Get it away. Get it out. If in doubt, kick it out. Come on. Good there to buy burn. That's it. Great interception there, Almiron. Don't bloody... Oh, no. That was... Come on, Almiron. I just praised you and you flipping do that. All right, target is that good. Um, oh, typical Anderson. I'll take Tyler. No, I won't. Not long now. Six minutes. Come on. Let's go. Let's keep possession. Let's just waste the clock time. Don't lose it, Trippier. Don't lose it, tri Trippier. I'll be really annoyed if we concede now. Thank God for that. Well done, De Gea. That's it. Just, just keep wasting as much time as possible. Hoof it out. There we go. Come on, target. That's it. Just run, run the clock down now. That's it. Pass it around, lads. Don't lose possession. Just keep passing around. Long stuff now. Drives forward. Oh, lucky long stuff. I'll bring your brother in in January. January targets. Matty long stuff. Deli Alley. Not the best players in the world, but you know, one will help with homegrown, and the other one is just because it's Deli Alley and just buying him for the sake of it. Right then. Um, I'm just going to holiday to the next match. Uh, and then I'm going to save it at that point. But um, before, yeah, before I go, I just want to say thank you to everyone um, that's been watching. And um, I appreciate you watching and uh, just basically just making it worthwhile me doing this in the first place. Uh, it does feel like sometimes I'm talking to myself. So um, please feel free to contribute in the chat room. Um, so I've got somebody to bounce off of, but no reason if you don't want to. Uh, um, yeah. I'll just wait for this to... And I'll go through all the news items and... And I'll save it before the next game. Yeah, I'm looking forward to me G GTA roleplay in a bit. I found it quite um found it quite funny last night to be honest with the interaction with them police officers. They they take their job very seriously, but also um uh, easily bribable by the looks of it. So if you're ever on I can't remember what the server's name was now, but if you're ever on that server you give them enough money, they'll they'll probably let you off for a lot of things. I mean, you would say there's no such thing as a as a corrupt police officer, but we know that's not true, especially in real life. But they do the best job they can. And uh, not all police officers are scumbags. A lot of them are very good and uh, do a great job for the community help protect us so yeah got nothing but respect for them Everton next game they're bottom so I might I'm what I might rotate a few players if I can remember for next stream rest a few players hopefully to, we don't we should well we should beat them even with a rotated squad right let's go through these Good and improved in training, so we we appreciate that. And Nico Williams, uh, 
the sales goes to Kagalari. Kagalari, uh, yeah. True story about Kagalari. They actually helped me win, get the biggest win I ever got when, when I won nine hundred quid on a. I did. Um, there was a few international. There was a few Champions League games playing, and also Kagalari were playing another team. I think it was Sampdoria or something like that. And basically, Kagalari were losing. There was a few teams in the Champions League that were supposed to win that were losing. And I decided to do a lucky thirty-one or something. So I needed, I need, I did. So I didn't do like I did. I did a couple of quid on the Acre, which was at the time I think it was like two hundred and one to win or something in the Acre. So I won four hundred quid off that. And then I did a lucky thirty-one, and all five of them come in. Now at the time, I was I was going to win two hundred quid off it, which I was buzzing about because Cagliari were drawing three three. And then they scored in the last kick of the game to win 4-3. And it went from winning 200 to 900. I was absolutely buzzing. But yeah, you don't, as a gambler, you don't get many days like that. It's usually, uh, that's why I don't really do it that much now. Because it's just, you just don't make any money from it in the long run. Uh, it's just, just did it for a bit of fun. Oh uh, yeah, but I wouldn't recommend gambling. I like doing it, but um but yeah anyway um so we've got a new deal 32 million so we've our money's propped up oh we've got a bit of money here so we'll just keep that about to the wage budget let's uh see if we can improve the budgets for next season and this season mother diddy um Won the player of the month award, so fair play to him. Doing well. I don't know how he's doing well. Oh yeah, he's doing well. Yeah. I thought that was a six point over there. I win the manager of the month, rightly so. Harvey Barnes injured again. What a surprise. I'm getting rid of Harvey Barnes. He's too injury prone. See if I can get rid of him now. I don't know why. I don't even know why Newcastle bought him at the end of the day. I don't think he even suits their style of play. All right, we'll send Anayamu back to the under 21s. He did well for us, but he needs regular football, so send him back to the under 21. This play, why is he? On, I'll just get rid of you. You go in. Miguel Almiron out for five, out for three, six weeks with a hamstring injury. Kraft injured as well. Get rid of Kraft as well because he's he's injury prone. Higher and to me. Oh, okay. Into the shortlist. Release you then if you don't want to. Hopefully we can. Oh, sod off. Um, right. Offer him out. Let's offer to pay some. Having uh, players moaning, they're off. Zero tolerance for prima donnas at this club. Right then, so I'm just going to do that. That's that ready. So I'm just going to save it now. Right, so that's the end of the stream. Thank you for everybody that was watching today. Like I said, I'll be back in about 15 minutes 15 20 minutes with the gta role play for a bit so feel free to join in with that but yeah thanks a lot for everything and enjoy the rest of your day all the best to you